Hey guys, this video is gonna be about the day the Lord called me into the wilderness. And, you know, I've been called by the Lord. And later I've been told that I have apostolic call. So, a series of events happened before this day, but basically... I met certain woman which was possessed by evil spirit and was deep in the occult and witchcraft. And I was an unbeliever. I had no clue about evil spirits, about God, about devil, about evil powers. But uh, in the short time when we were dating, I could see that she was behaving uh, strangely that almost if she had two personalities and she would share with me her traumatic past and she would share with me her nightmares and things like that. So she would tell me she's got like demonic, satanic nightmares and a lot of these things. But, you know, I was in the trap her only goal was to to hurt me and to, to curse me. So I was cursed and I was hurt and I didn't know why. But because I could see that she was highly manipulative and she was just pretending her feelings of love, I wanted to seek answers why she lacks heart why she likes love let's say why there is darkness in her and lack of light so i was researching a lot of things and i because i cared for this woman i wanted to know what would heal her soul and her heart so she wouldn't be evil and i felt like God was already coming into my life and I started seeking truth. Firstly about her and revelations were coming as I was praying for answers. The Lord revealed to me in that time I didn't know it was God, but it came from heaven like such revelation that this woman is basically disconnected from God, from a spirit that she's dead, you know. And that's why she has no, no, no light in her, no love and no peace. So this was happening and I was seeking God. I, was, I somehow was listening to some pastors talking about evil spirits and narcissists and witches. And... It was making so much sense to me. It was almost like I was gathering pieces of puzzle. And I somehow retrospectively realized that this woman was indeed possessed by an evil spirit. Because what I felt in her, this inhuman sort of evil and hatred, it wasn't human. Like it was evil, pure evil. Like it was not human. So I was reading the Bible and I started fasting, I started praying. And I remember one night I, I would receive the Holy Spirit and I immediately knew that this is God. And that Spirit fell upon me and I felt the presence of holy God and I knew I'm being chosen and I cried and I knew that it's something big and I was just in absolute awe because it was the first time in my very existence that I had this experience of the holy God and for me there was no doubt how real it was I just knew that this is God and 
that power, that majesty, that that holiness. It's just the glory of God when it truly comes is beyond words, it's beyond feelings, it's just it's something else. It's God. And after that the day would come I would seek some you know prayers from Derek Prince. I would be watching some deliverance videos and I would basically do this the salvation prayer and I felt like I smiled because I guess in that moment the Lord knew that I'm his. I made the call, I confessed that I'm a sinner. I called upon the name of the Lord, I called upon Jesus. So this was one of the steps. And then there was one day where I just felt I'm filled by the Spirit of God. And I went outside and I felt such overwhelming peace like never before in my life. I would sit on the bench and eat some grapefruits and I was just watching the sea on the beach and I felt like that moment is eternal, like there was no past, there was no future, I was just in pure moment and I could see this beauty all around and I just felt like I'm in heaven. It was like heaven. I felt like in heaven. Absolute peace. And then I looked up and I heard voice from heaven telling me to go home. And I was crying again because I don't know if it was angels or God, but it was really strong voice talking to me and I obeyed and I got home and then almost as if I got some panic attack. I don't know what it really was, but as it said in, in the Bible that Jesus received the Holy Spirit and immediately was driven to to the wilderness I think this happened to me. I was driven to wilderness. I I would sit into my car and I was driving to this remote place in the mountains, maybe half an hour away from my home. Though I've been there before, but I didn't explore all the area and there was this certain path in the wilderness, rocky path. You know, and I've never been there before and I'm getting out of my car and I'm walking on this road, like quickly driven somewhere, just walking and thinking like what's going on. And I feel this presence around me and this presence of God. And I don't really know what's happening, but I was oppressed at that time. My mind was oppressed by by the devil, by demons. And I looked up and it was almost getting to sunset. So the sun was, you know, the sun was coming down. And I feel the presence of God there and I just don't know what to say. I knew I have to say something or that I want to say something to Lord. And... I felt oppressed. I couldn't find what it is. But then it's almost as if another revelation comes to my spirit. And I just say this verse that love covers the multitude of sins. And I said this to the heavens, to the Lord, and I immediately felt such a a rush of love all over me. And I realized how much God is loving towards mankind, how much merciful he is. And I realized that the God is love. And I felt such a joy. And then I was sort of complaining about evil in the world and that there is devil and 
all these things. And then the light shone, shone upon me. Revelation came from heaven and I realized, hold on, like, I'm also a devil. Like, I'm not reconciled with God. I'm enemy of God, you know. So I basically repented and I could feel oneness with God. I could feel oneness that I was always part of him, but I was in rebellion, like I was sort of disconnected. So I repented and I was further driven, you know, into this wilderness. And at some point I just lay down into the cross and I look up into the heavens and I lose consciousness. I'm laying down there in the cross and I lost consciousness. I don't know where I was. I don't remember much. But I don't know for how long I was out. But I believe this was the moment I died to self. And I was born again. And after some time I would wake up and I would stand up. And I felt overwhelming peace. And, but I was also a bit confused because everything happened like so quickly and it was pure mystical experience, all driven by Holy Spirit, by God. I was the Lord by myself with His presence and I was still unexperienced. I didn't know what it meant, but I was coming back. And felt peace, you know. And only later, the Lord sort of told me that that's my call. Like, I am an apostle. And ever since, it's been years, I've had dreams and visions. And I would study the Word of God. I would pray, I would develop my knowledge of, of the Lord. I would study, I would pray, I would have more supernatural experiences, deliverances. I would be used by the Lord in several occasions and I am on my path. But calling is high. I went through a lot of battles with the devil as well afterwards. I was called like this. Many people tried to to destroy me, a lot of witches, warlocks, a lot of attacks from the devil, even demons. Like there was a period in my life when the devil was trying to, to, to destroy me. He still wants to destroy me, but I'm stronger now. I'm protected by the Lord. I have armor, you know. But before I didn't have the weapons of warfare I needed. So the Lord allowed all of that to happen, to strengthen me. And I remember there would be a night where I would wake up and I was being choked. I was being choked by demon. And I knew it's a demon. And I, in that moment, I just, because I already had some knowledge of the Word of God, I would just, in my mind, think, like, I would think, I'm not scared of you. And the demon left, because I indeed wasn't scared in that moment, which is strange. Like, normally I guess I would be terrified, but I guess it was the Holy Spirit in me who gave me this peace in that moment and this boldness that I just said, I'm not scared. And, you know, I would have terrible nightmares. And I was even harassed by voices, by demons. So this would be considered something like schizophrenia in, in, in the world. If I ever seeked any doctor, I would be locked up for good. But I knew that it's spiritual. I knew that it's a, some evil presence all around me. And these voices, these demons were harassing me, telling me that some very bad, bad, evil people are coming to get me. And, you know, I would, as soon as I would fall asleep, I would 
hear some voice to wake me up and I would run from my flat to my car like at 3 a.m. just being completely terrified that somebody will find me and kill me. So this was happening for a few weeks. Massive warfare, you know. And there was nobody to help me. Nobody to help me. Perhaps it was maybe some witchcraft on me as well. But I knew that something has to happen. And what also was a crucial moment when I was lying like this, like after a few weeks, this these demonic attacks were happening to me and I was fighting for my life and sanity. There was a night where I was just exhausted, lying down, trying to fall asleep. And again, these vo- voices were terrifying me, these demons all around me. I didn't know there were demons. But something in me got righteously angry. And I just screamed. In my spirit, in my mind, I screamed, shut up, with a lot of anger. And I could feel as if something like shook, got scared and moved away. And in that very moment, I realized it's actually them, these voices who are scared of me and they just want to scare me. Like they are scared of me. I realized I have authority. I realized they are scared that I have the power. So I started praying and the presence of God came to my room and showed me, the Lord showed me a lot of things I've done in the past. He revealed to me sort of my sin and my demons and the way I I was thinking and all the ungodliness and basically he brought conviction and further healing for me. And he fully filled me with his love like never before. I felt accepted by God Almighty like a little child. I felt being healed on a deepest level of my soul. And I felt like never before. I felt like I'm loved by God. And that love was perfect. It was full acceptance. It was pure love. And I had tears all over me. And I realized I'm saved forever. And ever since all these terrible attacks ceased, though I had a lot of warfare afterwards, but nothing like this. It was the point between life and death. It was Satan's last attempts to to destroy me. But the Lord used it to, to prepare me for a lot of ministry and show me that these demons are nothing to be afraid of because the Lord protects me, protects us. And if I am called to be also doing like a deliverance ministry and inner healing, I cannot be afraid of, of demons and I'm not afraid of them. Though I have that experience now, I know what it's like to be harassed. I know what it's like to be tormented by them. So I got stronger. Anyway, this is 